Good morning, everyone. And so excited to be on the morning call with Dr. Ash. Morning, everybody. For those that don't know Dr. Ash, uh, you are an osteopathic physician, but uh, a whole lot more. Uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, someone who ha just has a love for animals and has had some amazing experience with those as well. And and just a, a real broad uh, spectrum. Currently, I, I believe, are you doing emergency? Uh, no, I work in, I work in, uh, well, I do some urgent care, but I work in uh, Santa Barbara County and I work at, uh, at a community memorial hospital in one of their clinics in uh, Ventura, California. Oh, bless your heart. Uh, yeah. So help, help on a lot of people. It, it, but. It's something that makes one want to build a giant uh, neck in business and then uh, be able to help people who want to be healthy. <laughs> and I want to say, you know, living in the United States of America is one, one of the blessings is having having health care. Uh, probably all of us have heard that the idea of, of crisis intervention and that, uh, as an example, Princess Diana, when she had that accident, if she would have had that probably in any town in the U.S., she would be alive today because of, of just the urgent care that, that we can offer. And and on the other hand, we have too many crises. <laughs> and the best way to uh, treat a problem is never have it in the first place. And we're always going to have a car wreck or something like that. And this is the place to be. And I think Western medicine is uh, at the apex of, of, of just intervening with, with crises. But uh, on the other hand, the thing that's really plaguing everyone is a chronic or degenerative di diseases. And uh, uh, in my personal opinion, I think Nikan has a better way. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and I was mentioning to you that uh, uh, be, there are a lot of people who do not take advantage of the excellent health care we have here. And the biggest problem is they aren't accountable and responsible for their own health. And so we definitely have a better way and we and self care is really where it's at. Um, there's not going to be enough physicians to take care of us as we age. Uh, I think you know I taught for six years at uh, Toro University at the medical school, and they were upping the number of enrollees at medical school um, as fast as they can, but because of my baby boomer and your baby boomer generation and us being able to live longer, even though we live longer with those chronic diseases, <clears throat> what happens is, our, is, is, is that we don't have enough health care. So it really is going to be incumbent upon us to, to really take charge and be our best advocate, et cetera. I actually had a patient come in this week who, um, who hadn't been seen for like a year or two. She's diabetic, been diabetic for a long time, hadn't had her annual eye exam, um, hadn't had her medication. She was uh, self-changing her own medications and she had herself on toxic doses because she was running out. She wanted to make them last. And her, her excuse was, well, they keep changing doctors here. And I said, you know, you have to be your own best advocate for your health care. And uh, when you need to be coached, it doesn't matter that the, the doctors or the providers are changing. You need to make an appointment and get in and ask questions. And one of the things I like uh, in my career of 30 some years is that back in the beginning, you know, everybody used to just do what the doctor said. And you'll still find some patients, like when you talk to them about knee, and say, well, I have to check with my doctor, uh, um, you know, and they won't do anything that, uh, that the doctor doesn't say. And, and the doctors, the younger doctors are really a lot more out of the box. They're really a lot more alternative. They're, they're really wanting to know about um, other things other than just pure Western medicine. So that part's good. Um, some of the older doctors are really, uh, really more about evidence-based medicine. Show me the studies, show me the studies, show me the studies. And um, even natural kinds of things, there. If there's no study, they're not willing to look at it. And for those folks, I say, well, just next. There's a whole bunch of other people that you can you can certainly help. But the the self care approach is really where it's at. We're not going to be able to afford ourselves. Um, as I mentioned, uh, this particular person uh, w was set up to um, to see the dietitian and the nutritionist about the diabetes and just walked out the door and take it didn't take advantage of a free service. Ended up in the emergency room, and uh, the workup for her dizziness was probably twenty thousand dollars that each one of us pays. So the more we can educate people on how to take care of themselves and uh, and and to, to do good self care with these wonderful products we have from the Wellness Home, uh, the less of that we're going to have, the less medications people are going to have, the less side effects, less drug drug interactions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we definitely have the way, Dave. And um, so let's, let's always, as we always start this off, let's do our disclaimer. We make no medical claims. Um, and basically, the thing I love about Nikan is, is that it matches the philosophy of the osteopathic profession, which is if you give the body what it needs, it heals itself. 
So um, everybody, good morning. Uh, Dave asked me to talk a little bit about energy medicine. It's, uh, it's really too big of a topic to do in a, in a short verse. So we're going to do a little bit each week. As I mentioned last week, I'm going to try to put uh, together a very short presentation on different technologies that you can uh, that we can crop down and we can uh, send out and you can use to help educate your your customers, um, your team, how uh, people who are interested in uh, learning more about self care. And so, Dave, why don't you go ahead and pop up the uh, the uh, far infrared um, PowerPoint we're going to use today, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about as far as energy medicine. <clears throat> basically and energy medicine as dr. Oz says is uh, uh, where it's at and uh, when we think of energy medicine with uh, with Nikon we basically think about three of the energies that we use over and over and over again which is called uh, our triphase anytime you see the word triphase happening in uh, in the catalog or when we're talking about things um, you're going to see uh, the three energies that we're talking about. So uh, go ahead and go to the next slide, please, Dave. So these are the, uh, the, the nature's energies that are contained in Nikon's products, magnetic or earth energy, uh, sun energy or far infrared energy, and air energy or uh, uh, negative ions, uh, ionic uh, energy. Go ahead, next slide. I'm going to talk today about the far infrared spectrum. <clears throat> after I have a sip of coffee. Okay, so what we see is that far infrared energy is energy from the sun. And if you look at the schemata, what you'll see is, is that the infrared energy is way over there um, on our right in the red. And it's not a visible, it's not a visible light. And what I'd like everybody to do, and maybe you can, I can see you, Dave, I don't know, can they see me? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, so what I'd like to have you do is to just put your hands a little bit close like this, not touching and feel that energy, okay? Feel that heat? If you're a healer, you can probably put your hands this far apart and you'll still feel the energy, but for most of us, it has to be close together. Okay, very good. So that's the far infrared energy. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of a demonstration here and sometimes, uh, hopefully this will work on the video. Uh, sometimes what we have in our wellness previews is we do this uh, on hand and you can see this, this is a, a, a black coated plate, just a metal plate. And this is a plate that's uh, coated with ceramic um, uh, far infrared, okay? Uh, infrared uh, is what we get from the sun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two ice cubes on it and hold it in my hand. And you'll have to tell me if you can see that. Can you see that, Dave? I'll lift it up a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. Okay. okay. Can you see the water on the, the plate in this hand? Uh, it's, it's kind of a yeah, it's, it's dripping off. You see the water dripping off? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and this hand, there's no water dripping off, if you'll notice that. But you see the water dripping off of the, this far infrared coated plate. So what's happening there is the energy from my hands that you felt when you put your hands together is reflecting off that, that far infrared ceramic paint into the ice cube and causing that ice cube to vibrate at a very, very rapid level, which then creates friction and heat and it causes the fluid to, to, to move. That's what happens in our body when we put far infrared ceramic materials uh, against the body. So Nikon had a patent on um, the ceramic tiles that the astronauts used uh, around the space capsules to reflect the heat when the astronauts came through the uh, through the atmosphere, they reflected the heat so the capsule didn't burn up. Well, Nikon got that, uh, that ceramic tile um, from NASA and they grind it up and put it into little tiny particles. So um, Dave, go ahead and go to the next uh, slide. This is just an example of what happens with that far infrared energy from the sun. When the sun shines down on fruits, it takes that fruit from acid to alkaline. And what we know is, is that the body prefers to be alkaline because what happens is, is that infection and cancers grow better in an acid environment and we're healthier in an alkaline environment. So just like the sun takes that lemon and makes it go from very, very sour to sweet and ripens other fruits, that's what happens when we have that far infrared energy into our body. It helps us to be more alkaline. So you'll find that we use far infrared energy in many, many products that, uh, that Nikon has. 
So let's go ahead and go to the next slide. So this is a sample of the ceramic fibers that Nikon puts in different types of, of products, um, such as the, the socks, uh, the sleep mask, uh, et cetera. And hit the next slide, if you would. Or hit the, just click it. OK. So this is an example. No, go backwards. Uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, this is an example of what happens. That heat that you were doing when you put your hands up like this, that heat was um, was being either transmitted through the ceramic fibers and put down into the human body, and the excess heat, if there's excess heat, was being re taken away from the body, and extra heat from the environment was being reflected. So that's what, how the heat starts to get normalized and the energy gets normalized with any of the technologies that we have, including our wraps, our masks, anything that says triphase that has far infrared. So um, in order to give you a, a bit of a, an example, go ahead and to the next slide for me, Dave. Uh, this is a picture of a lady that I saw a long time ago when I first came to California and I was doing coverage. And she had had several knee injuries uh, and surgeries. And she had been uh, over a year and a half in... Uh, physical therapy and wound care, trying to get the swelling out of her leg. She came into me, she was on uh, multiple medications. She ha was almost put into kidney failure uh, from the water pills, trying to get the fluid out of her legs. And she had multiple allergies and she was in tears and she said, please help me. And I looked at her chart and they had done everything perfectly for her. Uh, and I said, I said to her, you know, Western medicine has done everything they know how to do. Are you open to some alternative complementary things? And she said, yes, I am. And so I gave her one of these, if you can see me holding it up. It's uh, the Nikon uh, knee wrap, and it's got far infrared technology in it, just like you saw in that picture of the ceramic material. And I said, put this on, take measurements, and take pictures. So go ahead and tap it again. And as you can see, the, on the left leg, um, we had to use the large one because it was, there was so, so much swelling and she could get it as high as the bottom of her scar. But on the left leg, it was significantly different than the right leg. And we took the swelling down from 18 inches to 15 and a quarter inches in um, less than 24 hours. Uh, that was pretty, a pretty big wow and pretty amazing to me because I thought she had had too much damage from her knee surgeries to, to make a significant difference. Um, she was comfortable. She thanked me profusely. We didn't have any drug drug interactions. We didn't have any side effects. Uh, and we, we helped the body to pretty much heal itself. Okay, next uh, slide, please, Dave. All right, this picture of my dog, Sam. Sam uh, got out in the street when somebody was taking care of, care of him and he got hit by a car and they broke his uh, upper part of his leg in three different places. He went to, uh, he went to a specialty clinic to have uh, surgery. And when he came out, he had all this swelling. And what I knew was, was that the pressure of the swelling on his nerve, his artery, and his vein, and his leg was causing him a lot of pain, which would then cause him to not want to get up and walk around, which would then increase him for complications because of that, just like happens with people. And I was just learning about the Nikon technology, specifically the far infrared, and I said, well, let's see if this stuff works. And so I took an elbow wrap and a knee wrap, and I put it uh, on his leg, and go ahead to the next slide. And six hours later, this is a sample on the left of the different wraps we have, the Kankotherm wrap. Six hours later, you can see the significant difference in the swelling that he had in his leg. And that very top line uh, was where the, the knee wrap stopped. And it was probably about three-eighths of an inch's difference between the area above where the wrap wasn't and the area where the wrap was. Uh, the veterinary clinic was amazed. They said, what is that stuff? Who are those guys? I want some of that. And uh, I got my dog back, and he, he did well, and he was up and about and moving around and didn't have any complications. So go ahead, Dave, next slide. Uh, so that's the before and the after. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I was going to get such a difference. I would have made the pictures a little bit more similar, but I think you can see uh, how, much, uh, how much difference there is. And the body was then able to start to heal itself because it could get the toxins that were trapped down in the lower part of the leg from all the damage and all the bleeding out, and it could get the nutrition in, and we took the pressure off of the nerve, and so he felt better, and he healed faster as a result of it. Okay, next slide. All right, this is just an example of, of some of the areas that we use these far infrared technologies. On the left is uh, my guy, uh, Waylon. Waylon got kicked by his buddy and broke his, uh, 
broke, broke his right leg and he had a lot of swelling and soreness in there. So we put the, the Kinkotherm wraps on him. Uh, the other leg is just to show you uh, different, different wraps for different uh, applications, but these work very nicely. They're loose enough that they don't cause uh, rubbing or pressure. They can't get them off uh, and they really make a significant difference just like you saw in my dog, Sam. Okay, next one. So these are some of the technologies that we have that have far infrared in them. Um, on, the, on the right is just one of the sample quilts that we used to have that we can use in horses to wrap them. We also have uh, comforters. We also have our, our, um, uh, our, our new sleeping bag that everybody loves uh, to take when they're traveling because they don't have to take their whole sleep system. All that has far infrared. Next one. Uh, this is a picture of some of the sports bracelets, which are also triphase, and uh, uh, we can use those on animals. I actually had a, a dog that was almost 21 years old that was my husband's dog, and he couldn't bear to, to part with her. She had a, a problem with a lot of arthritis and a lot of disc problems in her low back, and she was uh, incontinent, and she would stand still, and her back end would just drop down because of weakness. And I didn't know what else to do for her, so I took one of the sports necklaces and I wrapped it around her, her uh, belly area. And to my absolute amazement, I wish I would have taken videos of it, uh, she, stayed, she remained upright and uh, could, could stand up and didn't fall over and could walk around better. And hopefully it made her feel a little bit more comfortable. But I said to myself, you know, I know that her whole spine has, has got disease. How can that little teeny tiny band with a little magnetic and a little far infrared uh, and little uh, negative ion technology make such a difference that that whole dog's whole kind quarters can, can remain upright. Okay, next one. So uh, this is a sample of, these are uh, some of our other technologies that we have. I actually use the, uh, the, uh, the little uh, power mini on in a forehead band on a Whalen because he thinks that everything is going to get him and there's a pineal gland underneath the horse that uh, is the kind of their calming center and he was a completely different horse. I said to my husband, who, what have you done with my horse? Who, who took Whalen away and whose horse is this? He was just so different and so much more calm. Uh, made a huge difference. But those little power chips can be placed. You've, they've got a little hook on the top. You can pin them. You can put them over tennis elbows. You can put them on uh, beside sore knees. You can put them on ankles. Uh, you can kind of put them just about anywhere. You can wear them on a necklace and um, they have the, the triphase technology also. Okay, next one. Uh, this is some samples. Some of the other things that have far infrared are our mag flex uh, on the right hand upper upper side is fabulous. Uh, for decreasing swelling and, and relaxing muscles. Uh, if you have swollen puffy eyes like I do with, uh, with allergies, the sleep mask is uh, amazing. Uh, sitting on the Kanko seat uh, makes a huge difference when you're driving, when you're working. It tends to compensate for uh, the computer. Um, it has the magnetics, far infrared, and the triphase. Next one. Okay, that's it. So that's a little overview of the far infrared technology. And uh, next week, I'll try to put something together for us to understand a little bit about the magnetic technology. And uh, we'll do negative ion, and then we'll start moving forward on different, uh, different other products. So let's go to the Stump the Duck. Oh, before we, before we go, remember I said that I was going to do my homework and be, uh, be smarter uh, about Erlos Daniels. And, and I did. I got 12 pages of uh, information from up to date. And, and the good news was in this little box way back here from way long ago when I had a little teeny tiny lecture on it, it, was, it I remembered that it was a collagen vascular disease. Um, but as I went through it, it's really pretty complicated. It's kind of a rare disease and there's different, there are different um, forms of it, uh, at least six different forms and then there's some other subtypes. But the, the biggest thing that they have is problems with the connective tissue and that connective tissue can be in the ligaments, in the, in, uh, for the joints. Um, it can be in the vasculature, so blood vessels. That's a really, really rare one. Um, and so the products that I would recommend for somebody with Earl's Daniels are the, the joint and the CM cream because they tend to get osteoarthritis because the, the joints aren't where they're supposed to be and they, they dislocate frequently. Um, the osteodense... Uh, the far infrared and magnetic energy to increase the muscle strength so it can compensate for the fact that the tendons and the ligaments are loose. 
So probably bracelets and a mag flex and a pair of insoles. Um, and then their skin is very, very fragile. And we have some of the best skincare in the whole wide world as far as um, not having toxicity and, uh, and, and really being and nurturing to the skin. So using all of our skin products, uh, particularly for bathing and then the skin creams afterwards, I think would be uh, fabulous for them. So that's the update on Erlos Danlos. Okay, let's go and see what else you guys come up with for me today. Okay, let's see. The first uh, question, I believe, was uh, someone uh, met a, a new friend who suffers from uh, grand mal seizures. Uh, anything uh, that uh, we, we, we could recommend with Nikan? And again, uh, uh, Nikan products uh, are, are not registered as medical therapy devices. Uh, they're not recognized as, as uh, uh, things like that. And, and so basically, kind of what you mentioned uh, as an osteopathic physician, uh, uh, the whole idea really is just to help the body heal itself, to put the body exactly. in an environment exactly. where, yeah. uh, where good things can happen. And so... Uh, so th this is a perfect question, uh, Dave, because uh, of interest, I got an invitation from a psychiatrist this week to um, an open house to show us this new pulsating magnetic field that he's going to use on people who have depression. So here we go, magnetics coming into mainstream Western medicine. I went, isn't that amazing? i got to go meet this guy because he's definitely out of the box and ahead of his time. You know, I heard about that a long time ago when I first started in Nikon. and there was a few, a few articles here and there that talked about using pulse magnetic fields for depression uh, rather than um, ECT and ra when, when people who have major depression don't have any type of uh, result from medications, even though there's a ton of different choices we have these days. So we know that the body is definitely magnetic and that magnetic fields make a difference. And I think probably there's a, a ton of testimonies you probably know more than I do about people who have had seizure problems who, who do better in a, a wellness home who, who have, once again, alkalinity, which helps the body to, to heal itself by drinking the water, sleeping in the sleep system. Um, certainly getting magnetic fields closer to the brain uh, would be helpful. So with that, I'd say, you know, the necklace like, like what I have here. Um, and, uh, and then a good, a good foundation nutrition. Um, I can tell you that when I'm working with people who have, let's say, um, they drink too much alcohol, uh, they are low in, in vitamin Bs and folic acid and, and magnesium. So we check for vitamins and minerals. And so I would recommend anybody with, well, actually all of us, because we don't have enough nutrition coming from the ground that goes into our food. We probably all need our men or women's formula as long as we're not teenage. Uh, because it has the phytonutri the phytoestrogens and something for uh, for men, um, so it needs to be an adult, not a, not a teenager. But um, certainly having the siaga and the jade green and the water and the men's or women's formula would be a foundation of nutrition and the KBB. And uh, I'm going to learn more about our new protein bar. I think Vance uh, Rogers did a did supposedly an overview this morning, but since I was getting ready for this call, I didn't get a chance to listen to that one. So I'll go ahead and hear it uh, hear it on the recording. Um, but we have some really great foundational organic nutrition that it, that the body has to have to just be able to repair and norm go through its normal physiology. And certainly, uh, Dr. Gary Lindner can uh, can take that further than I could ever dream of. So um, that's what I would suggest, a necklace and a good sleep system, alkaline water, foundation in nutrition, and uh, um, they're probably going to have to do some Western medicine too. You know, sometimes the, you have to have both people, uh, on, you have to have one foot on either side of the fence to get the, the better outcome. Uh, also, if you look up MCTs and seizures or a lot of other things, mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, it's really promising, and, that, and that's kind of a, an exciting uh, distinguishing thing about our shake a uh, number two ingredient is mcts also uh the power chips the little discs mm -hmm. okay uh, put them in a, in a headband and uh you could experiment with that uh the thing so that's when we used to have the magnetic headband that was one of the things that everybody used to use well yeah that's a good point the the power chips you know and i've even you've even seen some of our wellness consultants so use the the little band-aid magnets um uh, on different areas that may make a difference also 
let's see. We've got one uh, thyroids. Uh, what what would be friendly to thyroids? Well, thyroids. I get that question. I get that question a lot. I you know the thing about thyroids is that thyroids um, uh, are for the most part, unless they've been radiated for some reason is an autoimmune type of thing. Our body sees our thyroid as something that's not our own. That's usually called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and, and it goes in and it attacks the gland until it wipes it out. Now, sometimes that those soldiers go in and attack, and then they retreat, and so we kind of chase that thyroid up and down as far as medication uh, and, and blood levels. Uh, we Thyroid is very, very important for all kinds of functions in the body, so we need to have uh, uh, the right level. And in me Western medicine, we have the ability to, to do highly sensitive TSHs, free T4s, and T3s. So we can actually see what's getting, what's, what's coming from the brain down to the thyroid to tell it to put out T3 and T4 and what's going out from the thyroid gland until we get that cycle in balance where it's supposed to be. But certainly to, uh, to help with the, uh, the immune piece of it, uh, probably our immunity. Uh, we know that we get really good responses with our bone health, uh, wearing the wearing the necklace, and once again the um, the, uh, the the baseline nutrition. I think that if if we would give ourselves the vitamins, minerals, and proteins that we need, and the right types of uh, of uh, medium chain triglycerides and other fats in our diet what's going to happen is, is that the body really is going to help to heal itself. And the more we take away things like preservatives and chemicals that are in our foods, because those are the things that set us up for this chronic long-term inflammatory process that doesn't turn off. You know, we used to think that, that uh, the problem with uh, coronary artery disease was that we build up cholesterol. But what cholesterol really is, is it's just kind of trying to soothe the inflammatory process in the blood vessels because we get this, we get this, uh, this attack of our body, this inflammatory process, which is meant initially to help us, but then it's supposed to turn off. And that's, the, uh, that's where all of our chronic diseases are coming from because we are so exposed to all the preservatives and chemicals we have in our food, our air, our water, et cetera. And let me just digress here for just a minute. I have to tell you a story about this week. I had a, uh, I had a young man come in who was uh, about 16 years old who, who was concerned about his weight and he was, drinking a, he was drinking a bottle of Pepsi. And I said, how many of those do you have a day? And he said, eight to 10. I said, really, eight to 10? And so I said, let me see that bottle. And so he handed me the bottle and I looked at it and it had 260 calories per bottle. So that's 2,600 calories a day from just the Pepsi he was drinking. Now this, this young man was pretty sedentary. So his probably base um, calorie burn is probably 2,000 to 2,500 uh, 2, calories a day. So he was already getting 2,600 just in what he was eating with the, the Pepsis, right? And the, the rule of thumb is for every 3,500 calories that you eat that you don't need, you put in as a pound of fat. So I calculated this young man was, was at least gaining three quarters of a pound a day from just drinking Pepsi. Well, his sister, she put her hand up. She says, well, I'm drinking healthy stuff. And she was drinking a vitamin mineral water. I said, let me see that one. So I looked at that one. It didn't have as many calories. But the first three ingredients were sugar. I said, not, this is not healthy. And it's all about the marketing that we have. And then if you can't, if you can't say the words that follow in those ingredients because they're chemicals, just don't drink it or don't eat it. And those are the types of things that are causing this inflammatory process that everybody is, is having, even though we're living longer, we're not, we're kind of trapped in our body. It's really not a quality of life. That, that's true. Uh, just, just a couple of things. Uh, we, we all know that uh, thyroids and iodine, they kind of go hand in hand. And also, I, I love what you were talking about as far as inflammation. Uh, and uh, Jade Greenzymes, uh, just an amazing, amazing product. Uh, just uh, uh, it, it's, it's basically the best uh, fast food out there because it's wholesome yeah. and just lots of concentrated goodness. But it also, uh, because of the, of the sea plant uh, portion of that, uh, you know, the little bit of kelp in it and kombu that uh, it, it is a, a good natural iodine source. Another thing is uh, if you're kind of concerned, you got thyroid problems, uh, I just get a bottle of tincture of iodine and before you go to bed, maybe paint, uh, maybe a, a two inch patch 
maybe on the inside of your thigh or someplace. And uh, if you wake up in the morning and, and you can still see it, uh, you're, you probably, your tank is full. But if, if it goes, and I've, I've seen people where that's gone in an hour. And, uh, and so, so you're, you're not going to have to worry about toxicity uh, w with that if you just kind of do it that way. And, and you can kind of get an idea of, of uh, your, your need on that. So just, just a, a thought right there. Uh, we've got a person here asking about OCD and, and anxiety. Uh, any, any thoughts for, for that? Uh, well, it'll be interesting to see what the psychiatrist comes up with the pulse magnetic field. And I, I, as soon as we get that power mag, remember everybody ask, <laughs> ask for the power mag so we can get that back. That would be the first thing that I would be, would, would be using, but certainly, uh, you know, sleeping with a, sleeping with our, our Nikon magnetic pillow in our, in our magnetic far infrared negative ion sleep system uh, should be super, super helpful with that. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of still in the, the dark ages as far as the brain chemistry is concerned. Um, I would be interested to see what somebody taking the, the KVB every morning, I would be interested to see if that made a difference uh, with OCD, certainly without giving the brain what it needs first thing in the morning. I think, I think uh, 10 four would be something maybe to uh, try also. Uh, the theonine and some of the other... Uh, Factors that are in that uh, we've had some some very good calming energy. You know, it, it, it's crazy because because it, 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 a lot of people look at it and think, oh, that energy, uh, but but it's a very calming energy. It, it doesn't bounce you around a lot, and so we've we've had some pretty neat stories with. Well, you know, I think the other thing about that, Dave, is is uh, the the question to ask if you're talking to somebody. The question to ask them is 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 once again, how much caffeine do you drink a day, and how much water do you drink? And for the most part, uh, I mean, I ask that question twenty times a day. And I'm getting, oh, I don't like water, not very much. And I'm getting a lot more caffeine, particularly where I practice. We have a large Latino population. And because the, the water originally in Mexico wasn't good, they got, they got taught to drink bottled colas and bottled sugary things. And, and so there's really a lot between the, the caffeinated coffees and the Starbucks uh, generation here, uh, the latte factor, so to speak, and also the, the caffeinated beverages. If you start to ask that question, and then somebody says, well, they feel anxious and jittery and, uh, and they have OCD, it may be that they're just neurotoxic from all the caffeinated things. And you're, you're absolutely right. The 10-4 would be a really excellent sub substitute, as well as giving them the men's and the women's, that, the, the formulas and the, and the foundation that we've already talked about. We'll say it over and over again. Jade Green, Siaga, KVB, uh, and, uh, and good water and good sleep. Uh, you know, that wellness home, that self-care wellness home. You're, you're muted, Dave. You're muted. Yeah, and get, get off the of sugar and the, those things in the store that, that, that are cleverly disguised uh, and, and called food, but, but, but it's really not food. <laughs> no. Chemistry, yeah. Read those labels. Read those labels. Read those labels. Yeah. Uh, a person's asking about uh, dysplasia for a dog. Hip dysplasia. Oh, hip dysplasia. <laughs> my OBGYN just popped into my oh, head yeah. there because when you say dysplasia, yeah. that's, and yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. really? They don't do pap smears on dogs, do they? <laughs> yeah. I told you I wasn't a morning person, so it may okay. take me a second to catch okay. on here, okay? Um, so hip dysplasia is going to be the pet, the pet joint, and you might, I don't, depends on how big the dog is, how many necklaces you might need to have, but remember my story, uh, about um, about my husband's dog, that way we just put that sports band around the, the dog's back end. And then um, certainly uh, the pet pad. I know my dog will go to wherever, it, he'll, downstairs it's the pet pad. Upstairs it's the Nikon bed. It's like, why would I sleep on the floor or my own bed when I could sleep, you know, my own non-magnetic bed when I can sleep in your bed? So that's where she goes uh, every time. So yeah, the, the pet the pet joint is fabulous, and uh, I've had many stories. Well, I think maybe you've seen that video on uh, on YouTube about the dog who was uh, he was hit by a car, or he jumped off the back of a farm truck or something, and broke his pelvis, and he, his whole back end was tucked in, and they started to give him the joint, and they show this dog being able to get up and move and walk again. It's it's really pretty amazing, pretty amazing. You're, you're muted again. I've got a bunch of uh, kids uh, at our house, so I'm uh, 
kind of do. Oh, we, we can't hear them. It's okay. okay. All right. And then uh, let's see. I, I, there's a couple of people that raised their hands, but if you could just go over to chat or uh, Q&A uh, so I can kind of keep track of stuff. Let, let's see. Uh, uh, husband has iliaguinal pain in the groin. Is I'm, Am I saying that right? Anguinal. Anguinal. Okay. That's Anguinal. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, done an ablation. Um, talking about could magnets getting nerves in sync again uh, uh been a year and a half since the injury okay so um sounds like a hernia repair with a maybe with a mesh or maybe uh, i'm not sure when they what they're saying about the ablation but um so what what happens with that sometimes is we get the nerve entrapped and anytime we entrap a nerve it can sometimes swell and that's true for when we talk about the low back so a lot of times the reason that that somebody either uh, if they've had a back surgery or if they aren't a candidate for a back surgery but they have pain that goes down their leg it's a lot of times because of the swelling of the nerve because of the pinch and because of the the muscle tension in the low back now in the um in the stomach it could be because of weak muscles or it could be because of tight muscles so either, either way, when we add magnetics, we increase the blood supply because magnetics relax blood vessels, which then open them up and allow the nutrition to come and take the toxins away and relax the muscles. But we also most likely decrease the swelling, particularly when we're using far infrared, just like you saw with the pictures we talked about today with the dog, with the lady's leg, um, et cetera. So putting a triphase, uh, either the, the chip or the flex may make a difference over that particular area or either the little Band-Aid magnets that along the line. Um, if there's a bunch of scar tissue that has entrapped the nerve, then, then these may not help because it's not going to do anything to the scar tissue, but it may be able to decrease any kind of swelling. Um, I don't know about getting nerves back in sync. That's not something that I'm uh, aware that magnetic fields do. Um, but I haven't read the whole body electric, so I guess that's possible. So that's what I would try. I would probably do the flex, have them sit on the seat pad. This is more of an anterior. And then if we had the power mag back, Dave, <laughs> do we have Jeff on these calls? Can we just send these to Jeff? And <laughs> Uh, okay, got a few people asking about uh, duct tape, your opinion of it, and so Fabulous, on. fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I mean, one of the most exciting products we've had forever. And, you know, I, I went and gave that out like candy to physical therapists, and they love it, love it, love it, love it. Duct tape, tape has far infrared. Um, and so duct tape for actually, thanks for reminding me, duct tape for this hernia area might may make a significant difference. Once again, it's the far infrared as well as the mechanical change that happens with the duct tape. Okay. So, um, uh, taping that, taping the, uh, the, the duct tape over the particular area, um, I mean, I would try duct tape everywhere. And you can certainly take duct, duct tape and the little Band-Aid magnets, or you can take the power chips and use that to put, uh, put that in different areas. Uh, plantar fasciitis, uh, would that work on that? Uh, it, it, it will. Um, here, so here's the, the thing about plantar fasciitis. So I always explain to my patients. So this is your foot. Let me get my okay. And you have, a, you have a tendon that comes from the heel and goes up to the toes. If you have flat feet, what happens is that fascia, that, and the fascia is the kind of that sinewy stuff. If you eat a steak, the white stuff between the sections of steak, that's what fascia is. What happens is it puts, and if you're overweight, it puts too much stretch on that, on that fascia. And where it hooks in back here on the heel creates a little bony spur because any place there's any stress to the body and any tendon pull or fascia pull or ligament pull, the, the, the bone starts to make a spur. Um, so it's not so much the spur that's the problem, it's the fact that the foot, which is made to have an arch, has lost its arch and it's being stretched too much. So those folks should never go barefoot um, using the, um, our magnetic insoles, using the duct tape, 
um, uh, those are those are fabulous. I had a patient when the same lady that you saw the the swelling on the leg. Uh, I saw a patient at that same clinic who had had two years of plantar fasciitis, and they were ready to go in and do surgery. And uh, that I think would have made things worse. I said, "Well, before you do that, let's just try these insoles." In 24 hours, after two years, her her plantar fasciitis went completely away. She was so thankful because she could stand and walk. I mean, think about if your feet hurt, you, you don't have a very good quality of life. So, so yeah. yeah. Those okay. are both really good. It's good to remember that if it says itis, that means inflammation, and generally inflammation is is not good. And uh, and someone mm -hmm. up here is asking about RA. Uh, okay, let me let me say one other thing about plantar fasciitis. Our CM cream. Uh, I know Paul Calloway uh, is one of our uh, physical therapists in in in. Um, uh, Chicago and I remember when I first used to be on the, the health professionals panels with him he used to talk about when he sees patients in his physical therapy department he will use all of our technologies but he'll also use the CM cream like as often as every two hours because if he can keep them not flared up then he can move through their physical therapy faster and usually what happens after you see a physical therapist you come out and you're pretty darn sore and then it takes that you know day or two to get it back calmed down so that you can go back and they can do it to you again <laughs> so he was uh, really good about using the far infrared and the magnetics and and the cm cream particularly you know every two hours for that inflammation uh and that's also be would be good for the plantar fasciitis now you have to kind of figure out how to get the CM cream on and then be able to have the duct tape be there and have it still stick. So that's, that's the game that you're going to play there. Might, you might try a couple days of, of uh, every two hours of the CM cream and then put the duct tape on because CM cream is, it's stored in fat cells. And so uh, the body will go ahead and, and uh, take what it needs as it needs it. And kind of how we talk about using the joint component uh, and the CM cream is, the joint is systemic, so you have to take it, and then it's got to get stored in the fat cell so it's available for the body to take as it's needed. But it doesn't necessarily get down to the, the far away from the, the trunk of the body area. That's where we would use the CM cream on the hands and, and or inflamed joints and or on the feet while we're loading up the body with the, with the joint. And um, you can go like six a day. And originally when I talked to one of the first developers of it, it was probably better to take two, three times a day than it was to take six all at once. You probably absorbed it better if you divided the dose up. You know, do six a day for a week or so and then start to back down until, until um, you start to notice your symptoms are coming back up and then that's the dose that you need to, to stay on. You cannot get toxic on the joint uh, capsules. It, uh, they tried to kill mice with it and they weren't able to. Uh, it's called the LD50, so it's very, very safe, very natural component, and it's really great for inflammation um, because of the, the things, particularly that the, the Deal Foundation put in our particular product that we that we use now. It has uh, several things, and I'll do a I'll do a presentation on that um, one one Saturday morning also. But that's uh, for the plantar fasciitis. Okay, so where, what was the next question? I got us sidetracked. Well, that that, that is oh, RA. It was RA. Yeah. yeah that's right. Okay, so rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, lupus, Erlos Danlos, they're all connective tissue, collagen, vascular kinds of things that have, that have an inflammatory, usually an autoimmune. Now, Erlos Danlos is a, is a, um, it's a genetic uh, cause, usually. Um, but the, the sclerodermas, et cetera, just like we talked about the thyroid, those are an inflammatory kind of condition. So the things that decrease the inflammation and the, and the, the, the heat and the swelling are going to, are going to work that we have, like they're going to help the body with those issues. The far infrared, the, the magnetics, um, we're going to, we're going to increase the circulation. We're going to increase the nutrition. We're going to take away the toxins. Um, those folks hurt so they don't move and their metabolism is kind of off. They're like, they're like um, using up their, their muscles more than somebody who is just at rest. And they taught us in osteopathic school that if, you were, if your muscles were and, and bones were out of place, you were using 333% more energy than somebody whose body was aligned and relaxed and in the normal uh, physiology that it was supposed to be in. So if you think uh, that you're using up 333% more energy, 
then you need to have that as far as your nutrition is concerned need to have decreased the inflammation. So we talk about the, the studies that were done with bone health and the, the inflammatory markers that were changed as a result of that bone health product. All of those folks, that's not just about osteopenia, osteoporosis, but all those folks with inflammation would probably really significantly benefit from, from using the bone health uh, products on a regular basis. Then what we just talked about with the CM cream and with the joint, and uh, also probably the immunity, put that f basic foundation of nutrition in so that we're giving the body the vitamins and the minerals and the nutrients and the proteins and the fats that it needs. Get away from all the chemicals, go to organic. Um, drink really good water, don't go to the garbage that we talked about today as far as the Pepsi and the vitamin mineral water, which is really not that healthy. You know, just get yourself back on a good diet, and and then and then I'm sure we're going to find that our paleo bars are going to be great for snacks. Uh, particularly, I'm going to I'm going to think for for children who, in general, don't have good diets. What do they like? They like mac and cheese. They like hot dogs. They like things that are really not nutritional. But if you can get them to eat a, one of the bars and get some get them to have a KVB, they're going to have a foundation of nutrition. And body heals itself. Give it what it needs. Yeah, if, it, if it was me, I would I would go heavy on uh, osteodense and, and joint. Uh, you just can't go wrong with that. And yeah, and, and the sleep system because the sleep mm -hmm. system, you know, anything that's going to alkalinize, they're working hard all day long. Anything that's going to relax those muscles is going to take the 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 pressure off the joints. And just like we talked about with the um, the Erlos Daniels, they, they they have a lot of osteoarthritis, but they need support. So wearing the, the bracelets and the necklace and using the far infrared, I sometimes will have patients take the ankle, uh, cankle therm wrap, and you know where the heel goes, I'll have them stick the, the, the thumb through that, and then what happens is that, is that the wrap hangs down over the fingers, so it helps with all these fingers, the swelling, the heat, the inflammation, they get better motion, they're not so stiff and sore. Good stuff. Uh, oh, and uh, let's not forget the long johns, Dave. Let's not forget the long johns. The, the, the long johns, we begged for long johns. When they went away, well, that was one of the mainstays for anybody with an inflammatory problem, uh, any of uh, the total body arthritis, et cetera. Sleeping in those long johns made huge differences uh, to those folks. So um, when they come in, when they're there, uh, when they're in the right size, you know, I know we went from like extra small to triple gargantuan didn't have anything in between but uh didn't they make that a permanent uh product now i, I believe so yeah so so those that. folks that that's yeah father's day is coming up buy them a set of long johns and they just sleep in those long johns makes a huge difference good good loungewear too <laughs> yeah there you go all right uh let's see thoracic outlet syndrome Okay, uh, true thoracic outlet syndrome comes from an extra rib at the top. Um, sometimes it can come from people who have who are heavily muscled, like if they're weightlifters or if they're. Um, uh, I mean, you have to you have to make, you have to get the diagnosis. You want to make sure it's not because of a tumor that's growing up in the up in here. Thoracic outlet is 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 pain right in here that goes down the arm. So uh, I would certainly have them sleeping on our wonderful pillow. I love, I love the pillow that we have. I love how we can adjust it for the, the, right, the size of the neck. I love that they have the magnets in there, the Dynamac, Dynaflow magnets. Um, put the pillowcase on it. <clears throat> um, that's really good as far as positioning. Wearing the necklace all the time. Um, getting the muscles to relax so that it's not, we're not like this. Uh, if there's somebody who does a lot of computer work, which most of us do, then uh, then fixing their posture is important and having them sit in a Kenko seat would make a huge amount of, of difference. Because when you go forward and your shoulders come up, you make that process worse. And then certainly as an osteopathic profession, I'd say go see a good osteopath and get a good treatment. So, and, and physical therapy, but mostly it's going to be posture and getting those muscles to relax and good sleep and once again, good water to, to flush um, CM cream. Uh, it, it's really a, what the, the process is, is that that extra rib pushes down on the, the brachial plexus, which is all the, it's a, it's a group of nerves that go down the arm 
that give you all the function of your forearm, of your whole arm, your fingers, etc. And you get pressure on it because that rib comes down. So we need to relax that, that area and we need to improve the posture. So those are the principles. Good point. Uh, the mag duo, so I, I, I think oh, you yeah, yeah, can yeah. benefit with, with Absolutely. that up there. That and the power mag, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, please, Jeff. Please, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, not, another uh, question here is uh, homeostasis, of course, is what we're all interested in. And pretty much everything that we do uh, that's bad uh, or, or that uh, is bad for us is uh, getting us into an acid imbalance. And, and yet someone has a concern because, because uh, I, I would say probably the most energy intensive chemical reaction that takes place is the body creating hydrochloric acid, which kind of begins the whole cascade of digestion on down. And, and that's kind of the whole Achilles heel of a human metabolism is just good digestion. And, and I think a lot of times we get confused about, uh, you know, eating alkaline forming foods. Will that interfere with my uh, digestion? And, uh, and uh, so, okay, alkaline water, uh, that, that's, that's good stuff, but uh, would that interfere with stomach acid? No, stomach acid is, is stomach, uh, I tell you what interferes more with stomach acid, people who are on the proton pump inhibitors, which is like uh, people are eating them like candy. And I, we've heard many of the stories about people who had heartburn and reflux um, who start to drink the alkaline water and all of a sudden their esophagus gets better. So there's a significant difference in the pH of the stomach versus the pH of the esophagus, what happens is as we get overweight or we overeat or we age, the valve at the top of the stomach, which is a, which is a, a muscle, gets weaker so that that acid can kind of reflux and, and cause the heartburn. But the, the body's basic physiology is to go ahead and create the acid that's Im important to break down food. The things that interrupt that is when we chemically change that by a pharmaceutical. But drinking alkaline water is not, see, it, it, there's not enough of it to change the stomach pH. However, when that water is absorbed and we're 70% water into the body, having more alkaline water and taking jade green zymes and sleeping in an alkaline environment, all of those things are going to make a huge difference. Um, uh, also decreasing the amount of caffeine that we have, which is, uh, is you know, acid pH is 2.5. Body needs to be between 7.34 and 7.45. And so when we drink caffeine and drop that pH down to 7.2, body's got to pull calcium out of the bones to get that homeostasis, to get that balance in the, in the body. So uh, all the things we can do of sleeping and jade green zymes and alkaline water are going to make a, a huge, huge difference. And, and, and I guess to <clears throat> add further confusion, uh, but, but it's fascinating stuff, is if you have uh, fresh lemon water, uh, if you get some Bragg unpasteurized organic natural uh, vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, put just a little bit in that. Uh, although uh, if pH strip would say it was acid, it's actually alkaline forming. So it's a whole different aspect uh, as far as building health versus having uh, a soda that's loaded with uh, phosphoric acid, uh, which will, which really is an acid, and your body views it as, as an acid, and it will throw all kinds of things, your parathyroid and all kinds of stuff. You start dumping calcium out of your bones to compensate. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot more complicated than just say acid is bad, alkaline is good, that's it, period. Uh, but right, you're, you're right. It's about what is, how does the body metabolize it? What does it create? What's the end product that happens as a result of those? And you, that was perfect. What, what you said about it. Let me add oh, another yeah. thing. Um, the uh, what we know is that when people uh, get around the age of 50, they kind of lose about half their digestive enzymes. So if we're talking about being worried about being able to uh, you know, create nutrition and absorb our nutrients, um, having digestive enzymes is going to be important. And uh, it was interesting because I, I, uh, I had a patient who, who was having a, a problem with malnutrition. And we used to have, because the pancreas wasn't working, we used to have uh, a, a product we could prescribe, but it's no longer available, okay? And I kind of researched this, and I went, man, 
Nikan has got it right in the palm of their hand because our digestive enzyme is built to, for all four food groups. And, uh, and I think we don't talk enough about the digestive enzyme and how important it is. And if you think about who your grandmas and your aunties who are in their 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, very few of them are, are robust and heavily muscled and, and, uh, and obese. They may be a little tummy and hip, hip heavy, but they don't have much in the way of arm and, and body healthiness because they're malnourished, because their body doesn't make the enzymes and they're not able to absorb their food. And so the vitamin mineral as well as the, as, as well as the uh, digestive enzymes and, and the things we've talked about, the jade green, the Ciaga, the K, KVB, are so, so important for our elderly population. Uh, and, and we're not elderly, but we'd start that probably around age 50 or 40 or 30. <laughs> Well, you know, another thing, when, when you get older, a lot of times your metabolism slows down, you're less active, and and also your digestion uh, is, is compromised, and, and so therefore you need more nutrition, uh, and, and yet you're not eating as much food, and so your, your stuff needs to be more nutritionally dense. And right, exactly. I, I come to Nikan for that. Uh, right. You know, it, when I used to talk about the Nikan products in the very beginning, I used to say, you know, 50 years ago, you could eat one cup of spinach and get X amount of nu nutrients, and now you have to eat 50 cups of spinach. And my comment was even Popeye doesn't like spinach that much to eat 50 cups a day uh, to get that amount of nutrition. So it, it really is significantly different. Um, and if you can buy your food organically and from the farmers and you know how they, they replenish the soil, et cetera, that's going to make a huge difference. But if not, then we want pharmaceutical grade, nutraceutical grade. Uh, nutritionals which are and organic which are what Nikan does and so for those of you who don't know but the definition of pharmaceutical grade nutraceutical is that it has to have 99% of what it says on the label in it in it or they cannot make that claim anything else that's a supplement that's not pharmaceutical grade nutraceutical grade can have as little as 14% so you're spending a lot of money for something you think you're doing good for yourself with but you're really not getting much of anything and once again, it's about the marketing. It's that same thing about that vitamin mineral water that that 13-year-old was telling me, well, I'm drinking really good, healthy things for me. And I said, no, you're not. So always, always pay a little extra to get the organic, to get the pharmaceutical grade, nutraceutical. And, and you know, the beauty about Nikon is, is that they have such high standards and quality control for the products that they bring on board, that they put out to us, that you can just trust that, if they have a product, it's going to be a great one. So uh, very, very, very important. Yeah, it's all, it's all trust. Uh, what, what's in the label is, is, is in the bottle, and what's in the bottle is on the label. There you go. <laughs> hey, let, let's, let's finish uh, with, with just one, one question. We got, uh, oh, my goodness, uh, uh, everybody come back again. <laughs> uh, her, her, I'm coming back, you guys. He's not, he's not fired me yet, so uh, we'll be uh, back. Okay, uh, let, let's end with this because I, I, I really believe so much of, of health is, is just uh, uh, what, what we eat and, of course, what we digest and assimilate and eliminate and all those other kind of things. And, and so uh, there, there is just seemingly an epidemic of digestive problems. And, of course, if you compromise that, everything else begins to be compromised because you can't nourish the body or, or, or it gets backed up with toxics and things. And so, so uh, what, what do you do about IBS? Uh, uh, you know, all, all of those kind of things were, you know, the, just having problems like that. Uh, okay. So I, I, and I, and I, while you were talking in, in the pat, my, my little brain goes kind of fast sometimes, but uh, all the things that we've talked about as far as new good nutrition one of the gold standard is our gold standard lactoferrin because that helps our body, our gut to, to die, to, uh, to absorb and um, function at its highest rate. So anybody, actually all of us should be on the lactoferrin. I take it every day. I do take the bone health product. So that's why I have it, but I would take it anyway because it is so important for us to get our nutrients to our body for it to be able to heal itself and repair and replenish. Um, so once again, it's that same conversation about inflammatory, uh, inflammatory issues are what causes the IBS, et cetera. The body gets all confused. Um, we were getting more and more research talking about the holes that get created in the gut because of 
the pesticides, the chemicals, et cetera. So the first and foremost thing that somebody with IBS needs to do is to get that, that nutrition cleaned up, get the diet cleaned up, get rid of anything that's got chemicals and preservatives in it, um, uh, start to, uh, to, to go with probiotics. Our KVB has got great probiotics in it. Um, get the di use the digestion because if your gut's not working well, um, you're not in, you can, you're not digesting your food at the maximum, then what you present to the gut that's not working well is not going to be as much as it could be anyway. So KVB, Ciaga, Jade Green, digestive enzymes, uh, lactoferrin gold. Um, Almost everyone that has uh, digestive problems, the water uh, seems to really help a lot too. Absolutely. Water. But, I mean, you know, I didn't start this, this, this conversation off today, but what, when people say to me, what should I use? The, I always say the first thing is always water, water, water. It's, the, it's where you start. It's got to, you gotta, you've got to hydrate. You've got to flush. It's, we're 70% water. So if, if you had to pick, you know, they asked me that on the panels, right? They asked me that in Orlando. What's your, what's your, if you could only have one Nikon product, what would it be? And I will always say, well, besides the wellness home, I would always say water first. That's where everybody needs to start. Um, and then with the bone health, once again, remember the four in inflammatory components that get put in the right arena because of the bone health. And so anybody with an inflammatory process can use the bone health to help themselves get that inflammation under control. You're awesome. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're getting getting swamped, but uh, just in, in respect for every, everyone, uh, 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 let, let, let's let's make an, an hour call. But okay, oh, yeah. You, they were supposed to be a half an hour, so we, we have to tell them. You know, we're we're actually doubling it as it is. So <laughs> hopefully that will help. And the thing is, is that what I find is that the questions that come in are pretty similar, and so a lot of times you can extrapolate from what we talk about. Uh, about one specific question to whatever your question is about, but I'm sure that if you just hang in, we'll we will uh, we will get to it in, on one of these weekends, and um, uh, hopefully you're going to bring some people with you who have some questions because uh, the the idea here was to have them see from somebody who has to know what she's talking about to not lose her credibility with her patients um, that 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 you can kind of leverage and and I have to know because I'm analytical I have to know about things before I before I, whether it's a prescription or whether it's a supplement or I have to say I don't know but I'm gonna find out just like I did Erlos Daniels and I'd like to give myself one point today because I didn't get stumped okay so today is an, as a, so it's one and one we're, we're one and one right now Dave we'll keep we'll keep a, a, a tally so everybody have a great, great, great week, and we'll see you again uh, next week, and I'll talk about magnetics. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. You're awesome. Right. Everyone, okay. uh, have a, have a right. wonderful weekend. Love All right. You. Thank you. Bye-bye.